whom to cite from an article, the reporter or the person who provided a quote to the reporter. I am reading this 2016 article, EI Benefits, The Globe and Mail. The article is written by the reporter R. Younglai. In an academic paper, I am talking about a specific theory, concept which is mentioned in a number of sources, including the Globe and Mail article. In the article, R. Younglai quotes a university professor, blah blah. It is sort of ironic. When a big negative shock comes, the unemployment system is not generous enough. When the economy starts improving and the unemployment rate starts going down, it is too generous," said Miles Korak, an economics professor with the University of Ottawa. In my paper, I am discussing this concept. Who should I cite, the reporter or the professor who gave the quote? Here is my sentence with the in-text citation. Blah 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 concept. John Chapter 2013, Jack 2015. XXX 2016. Should I cite as Korak 2016 or Young Lai 2016? Note that I don't want to write. According to the report by Young Lai 2016, Miles Korak said. Because there are many other sources in the same citation parenthesis. I am following the Chicago author date style. I can't find anything related to this in the guide. To add to Alor's suggestion, I think it would be most appropriate to make a slightly longer citation like, according to Korak, reported in Young Lai 2016. You stated that you didn't want to include both names, but I think it is more helpful to the reader that way. Additionally, the above citation tries to be not too wordy compared to yours, as it is just a footnote inside the parentheses rather than disrupting the flow of text. The ideal, of course, would be that you find a paper originally published by Korak or some other academic that identifies this phenomenon the theory concept you mention, but you may not have the time to do a detailed dig through the literature.